Welcome to TechLate, the show where we tell you which PC components are the most flammable. It's very important that you watch. Reports have surfaced of Ryzen X3D series CPUs burning and dying, allowing Team Red to compete with Team Green in a market that no one asked for, the crispiest hardware. The story blew up when user SpeedRookie showed his lightly toasted ASUS board and 7800X3D processor on Reddit. Overclocker Der Bauer has had some experience with frying a 7950X3D chip, and he apparently put that knowledge to use discussing pin analysis hypotheses with Igor of Igor's lab. Igor and co speculate that, and who saw this coming, the pins that got crispy on the motherboard and CPU were the ones that supply power to the CPU cores. Of course! Of course. I know I already referenced the 4090, but I'm beginning to get deja vu. MSI decided to address the issue by issuing firmware updates for their AM5 boards that further lock down the voltage controls for X3D chips by only allowing negative voltage offsets. Stay tuned for more investigation though, because apparently a certain tech messiah got their hands on Speed Rookie's busted hardware. No, not Jacob, Steve from Gamers Nexus. Although, I've never seen Jacob and Steve in the same room. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> the latest Google hardware leak is out, and this time it's the Pixel Fold. A video is making the rounds on Twitter showing the phablet in action, bending like the love child of David Beckham and Kira Knightley's character from the film, Bend It Like Beckham. A perfect match. Android police called it the most comprehensive Pixel Fold leak yet, and that is true. If you completely neglect front page text leak from three days ago. In the YouTube channel's video, host John Prosser laid out every alleged spec of the upcoming device. According to John, Google is claiming a beyond 24 hour battery life with up to 72 hours if you use extreme battery saver. That's crazy. Which I do. Wow. Though I don't think that would include using the foldable screen since it's a 7.6 inch, six by five aspect ratio OLED. John also claims Google will be including Pixel watches with full pre-orders. So it sounds like Google really wants a win. But if the company really wants to move product, they need two things, two things. Sarah and McLaughlin and crying puppies. That would really pull some heartstrings. In the arms of an angel. I, I tears my eye just thinking about it. For just a dollar a day you can save a multinational corporation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By buying their product, please. Google needs your help. And Apple is trying their best to come up with a use case for their AR VR headset. According to Mark Gurman, AKA the early germ gets the bird, the multi-trillion dollar fruit is hoping that by making its headset capable of doing more things, more people will want to spend $3,000 on it. It just appears right in your wallet. <laughs> The headset will supposedly run hundreds of thousands of iPad apps at launch, which is tremendous news for people who wish they could spend six times more money than a normal iPad so they can have one that straps to their face. Sold! But gamers rejoice, for you will be able to play top tier games as long as they're compatible with Apple's other devices. Man, the trains and subway surface will jump right out at you. For $3,000, they better hit me. I better fuel the trains. <laughs> but I hope you only like short gaming sessions because the headset's external battery will likely only provide two hours of usage. Not only that, but the battery pack will have a non-detachable proprietary connection cable. Ah, uh, proprietary. Nice. Cool, awesome. They wouldn't want you to have fun using somebody else's batteries or devices. Apple would rather you had no fun at all. It's their favorite word, proprietary. Wow, uh, Jacob, thanks for this, bud. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Ground News. You know, I used to think the T's in internet stood for totally true 10 out of 10 times. But did you know there's contradictory information online? And I don't wanna get caught in an echo chamber. I have sensitive ears. That's where Ground News comes in. They present you with several articles and sources for each story and break down the biases of the reporting outlets. You can find out who owns different news sites to have a fuller grasp of where their opinions may come from. Take the AI-generated Drake and The Weeknd song as an example. Be the T-dubs, it slaps. But Ground News will help you break down who is reporting on that topic so you can ask yourself why and use that information to help you parse future articles by the same sites. To help this independent platform bring media transparency to the forefront, go to ground.news slash techlinked or click the link in the description below. I'm gonna level with you folks. I wasn't in the sponsor spot because I got fired. They said I could get my job back though if I did well on the quick bits. 
It seems AMD might be skipping some GPU series launches and go straight from the RX 7900 to the 7600. According to Igor's lab, some of AMD's exclusive board partners will show finished 7600 cards at Computex in June, while no word has been given on when or if a 7800 or 7700 will be launched. It's certainly difficult for mid-range GPUs to compete with the used market. Who could have seen the mining crash coming? We never even got to the moon. To the moon. To the moon. Less than a month after sunsetting legacy verification, Twitter is giving check marks to some celebrities, whether they like it or not. The check marks still say the person is subscribed to Twitter Blue, though, which clearly isn't the case for re-verified figures like Kobe Bryant, Michael Jackson, and Anthony Bourdain. If only because they are all very dead. Rest Necro in peace. verification. Twitter has also been non-consensually <laughs> verifying fraudulent accounts, such as an account posing as a Sudanese paramilitary group and a fake Disney Junior UK account that's intimately familiar with the definition of hard R. This could possibly get Elon in legal trouble for false endorsement, a risk that's never seemed to really bother Elon because he's got his Martian escape flight booked. He's going to the moon. He's going Literally past the, the moon, moon to Mars. Mars, baby. <laughs> Blizzard staff have been leaving the company in large enough numbers that the company has had to create crisis maps to decide what can and cannot be shipped according to two prominent employees on Twitter. Apparently, the company's return to in-office work and other work culture policies might have driven the dev exodus. I might even call it the dexodus if I was feeling silly, and I am. <laughs> In response, Blizzard said crisis maps are not a team practice for World of Warcraft, which is not exactly denying that they've been doing them now. Running away from a bear is not generally something I practice either, but I doubt that I try going for a handshake first, if you get what I'm saying. Snapchat has rolled out their new AI chatbot to all users and has been hammered with one-star reviews as a result. The AI chatbot sits pinned at the top of user feeds and apparently it's a gaslighting little creep. The AI will casually reference users' locations or birth months, then insist that it doesn't have access to their personal data. The bot used to be a paid feature, but now that it's been rolled out to everyone, it's only possible to remove it with a Snapchat Plus subscription. Like your friend who's always asking for money. Give me $5 and I'll go away. All right, no. <laughs> No, I need that five bucks. And the company Augmental have announced that they are making a wearable trackpad that you control with your tongue. Finally, a way to increase your skills on PC and in bed. It's called the Mouthpad, and it's designed to allow people with quadriplegia to control electronic devices like iOS and Android devices, computers, and even vibrators. Because everyone should be allowed to get their consensual freak on. If I own a noob, how am I supposed to trash talk them? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't want it. For that reason, I'm out. And you should allow yourself to come back on Wednesday for more tech news. Did I do it? Can I have my job? Can I have my job back? Can I go back to work? Please? Okay. Please? We'll get back to you.